Yes, welcome back to Why I Am The One. <laughs> and I have a very interesting brother in studio with me. He goes by the name Daniel. I'll be introducing you to him, eight of you. But remember, we are on social media at White Fair 4 channel on Twitter, White Fair 4 underscore channel on Instagram, and White Fair 4 on Facebook. We are living in a very interesting age right here. Uh, we have uh, the coronavirus. Uh, we have social distancing. We have isolation. We have quarantine. And we have a lot of information floating in the air. And uh, amidst all this thing, Things. Uh, kids are suffering. Kids are not able to go to school. Kids are not able uh, to get the education that we were lucky to get uh, when we were kids. That's why we have guys from the Edu Up who are finding solutions to this problem. And they have a representative uh, by the name Daniel, an interesting guy. Karim <laughs> Asante. All right, your camera is number four. Okay. Uh, just uh, introduce yourself uh, briefly uh, so that people can get to know you. Uh, my name is Daniel Kuria. Um, uh, a regular guy uh -huh. uh, went to high school in Nyeri Baptist, uh -huh. uh, went and did my bachelor's in engineering, uh -huh. aeronautical engineering, uh -huh. and then I made a switch to master's in computer security. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and now I'm back here. <laughs> now you're back here solving problems. Yeah, probably, All right. yeah. So uh, there's a beautiful invention uh, called the Edu. Yeah, Smart Edu. Smart Edu. Yeah. All right. Oh, the intonation is different. Yeah, because <laughs> this <laughs> is Nairobi. <laughs> Smart A do. Yeah. All right. So this invention makes it possible yeah. uh, for kids to study from home as long as they have connectivity uh, to the internet or they have internet connection. Yes. All right. Uh, before we get into this, uh, this app itself, yeah. uh, what actually inspired you to get into solving uh, problems for the kids? Um, so it was it was problems that I went through myself. Huh? Uh -huh. So when I was studying, sometimes I would miss lessons, uh -huh. um, and we had the facility to be able to catch up on those lessons, mm -hmm. where they would record the lessons and they would upload the notes mm -hmm. and and uh, the PowerPoint um, the PowerPoint files. Mm -hmm. They were uploaded onto a portal mm -hmm. where you could access them. Uh -huh. And I was thinking, what if we do this for our kids back home? Uh -huh. huh? Um, we can be able to build a portal for them mm -hmm. and it wouldn't be just restricted to the kids of one school like, mm -hmm. um, but it would be open to everybody mm -hmm. and it would be able to complement whatever they are learning in school. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where the inspiration came from. All right. Yeah. Uh, huh. Sorry for that <laughs> little uh, light hitch right there. All right, so uh, in the process, yeah. uh, you came up with this idea, and uh, we have the Smart Edu app. Yeah. All right, so in a, in a, in a nutshell, how does this work? Uh, so the app mm -hmm. uh, has uh, about, uh, we are looking at multiple delivery channels. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we have video. This is a teacher teaching visual, using visual aids, mm -hmm. using audio aids, uh, which is songs like for small kids. Mm -hmm. They have uh, they have songs that are being sung to. They have visual aids uh -huh. to teach them what they're learning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit more interactive than just a teacher on a chalkboard uh -huh. talking uh, through the lesson. All right, so you have different kinds of, uh, of media. Uh, the videos, uh, yeah. you can get notes as yeah, well. Yeah, you can get the notes as uh -huh. well. And then there is an, an assessment. Uh -huh. uh, they're called formative assessments, uh -huh. which, which uh, just checks the understanding of the student uh -huh. on what has been taught. Uh -huh. And then at the end of that, uh, we are looking to provoke their creativity. Uh -huh. We have a smart task, uh -huh. which is something that they go and do themselves. Uh -huh. It's not graded. Uh -huh. It's just to help them get a better understanding <laughs> of what they were learning. All right. So yeah. after every topic, you can uh, you can test yourself. Yeah. All right. How uh, who marks uh, the test after you test yourself? Uh, so we we are trying to reduce uh, the number of people working on on grading. Uh -huh. So it's graded automatically. Uh -huh. The answers are there as soon as you submit, uh -huh. you get your answers instantly. Real time? In real time. Immediately, you get your results. You don't have to wait a week <laughs> to get your results. Uh, when I've got results that All right. Uh, how do I get, uh, do, how, how do I, do, you, do, I, do I need an account as a student? Uh, do I need to log in? Uh, is it open? 
uh, to everyone. How does it work? Uh, so, um, to be able to track learner progress, mm -hmm. you always need to have an account. Because mm -hmm. that, if you don't have an account, mm -hmm. then that means you don't know who... Uh, there are no stats. There are no statistics uh -huh. for you. So, you have to register, you have to activate your account, uh -huh. and then you can log in. All right. You enroll on your course, come uh -huh. on, uh, it's grade 4, or it's class 8, especially we've done a lot of work on class 8. Uh -huh. You enroll into that class, uh, and, you and you start in... Um, Start learning. All right, so yeah. I'm Mr. Barry right here. I have two kids. Yeah. Uh, one is in class three. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> this is hypothetical. One is in class three. <laughs> no. Another one is in class six. Yeah. What What do I do? Do I uh, Do I open email accounts for them, or do I use my email account? What do I do? So, um, as long as uh, uh, you, you, you can be able to they can be able to log in uh -huh. and because it, it keeps the classes separately yeah? uh -huh. so you can have just one email account uh -huh. and enroll both of them uh -huh. on that same email account uh -huh. yeah and then each will have their own classes that uh -huh. they're studying uh -huh. and they're doing it separately and All it right. keeps statistics for them don't you you'll come up as mr barrio the name oh, that yeah. <laughs> and uh, as a parent yeah. after i register my my, my kids uh, to the app yeah. can i be part of the assessment process we actually encourage it because uh -huh. uh, then you can see wh whether this is working mm -hmm. and you can see what feedback to give us because mm -hmm. um, this is a continual process. It's not a one-off mm -hmm. where we just build it and then everybody goes home. Mm -hmm. This is a continuous process where we need to be working with the teachers, with the parents mm -hmm. to be able to make sure that the kids are learning. All right. Yeah. So uh, when we had the, uh, the idea of automatic ticketing yeah. uh, in the city here, people claimed... <laughs> <laughs> that their jobs are at risk, somebody's <laughs> coming for their jobs. Yeah. Uh, should teachers be worried about this? No, they should not. Because, uh -huh. uh, like, I, I, um, I tell people, this is not a replacement for schools. Mm -hmm. You still need schools. Mm -hmm. You still need that teacher interacting with the kids. Mm -hmm. But for the current situation, for now, uh -huh. you, you, the, te the parent mm -hmm. will be the teacher. Mm -hmm. But it's meant to complement the education system. It's mm -hmm. not meant to replace the schools. It's not meant to replace the teachers because mm -hmm. we still need them creating the content, creating the questions, mm -hmm. uh, the smart tests, mm -hmm. creating the smart mocks, predicting the KCP. Mm -hmm. um, we still need the teachers. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when it comes to, thank you very much for that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to uh, matters of uh, creativity and yeah. identifying uh, what the child loves, what the child <laughs> is good at. This has been a problem when yeah. it comes to the education system that we currently have yeah. and that we are currently using. What is the edge for this app when it comes to creativity and identifying what the kids are good at? So we have a, uh, um, I don't know, can, can you? Oh yes, oh, we, you can ask for what do you want to be uh, projected so, on screen, we'll have so it for they, you. They, there is a, a module we have called uh, uh -huh. Creative Intelligence uh -huh. right? and it's, meant, it's Creative Intelligence 2050 uh -huh. and this is just us try, uh, trying to picture mm -hmm. and trying to provoke this in kids of mm -hmm. what will Kenya, what will the world in general mm -hmm. look like when mm -hmm. it gets to 2050. Uh -huh. Um, oh, yeah, this is the sign-in page. Uh -huh, this is the sign-in page. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can use my email address yeah. uh, to admit <laughs> as many as I, uh, yeah. uh, as many kids as I have. Yeah, as many uh -huh. kids as you have uh -huh. from grade one to class eight. Uh -huh. It's all there. All right. You can have access to it. You, you put your email address, uh -huh. you put your password, and you're in. All right, I yeah. love that. Uh, I love that the whole world is also... Uh, in the scope right there. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a process they're thinking. So this is a signing page. Yeah. But back to, uh, uh, to the, the 2050 yes. idea. So um, we're trying to look at what will the world look like mm -hmm. when it gets to 2050. Because mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have a ballooning population. Mm -hmm. um, I think right now we're up to about 47 million people. Mm -hmm. And population always brings other challenges. So mm -hmm. you, we have current, like the traffic in Nairobi mm -hmm. is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Except for the current situation right now where you can drive comfortably through uh -huh. Nairobi. Uh -huh. <laughs> between, <laughs> between 5 a.m. And, and 7 yeah. p.m. obviously. Uh -huh. it, 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 we have traffic problems. Right? Uh -huh. We have a housing crisis. Uh -huh. We have all these challenges. So uh -huh. we have to solve these problems. Uh -huh. We have to look at what the world will look like mm -hmm. when it gets to 2050. Mm -hmm. Will it be flying cars to mm -hmm. avoid uh, traffic? Mm -hmm. Will we have floating houses? Mm -hmm. Or what will the houses look like mm -hmm. to be able to accommodate the huge population? Mm -hmm. So we have to be able to provoke this creativity in the kids mm -hmm. to be able to think and to start 
uh, problem solving as well. Because mm -hmm. these are challenges, these are problems, and they need to be solved. All right. We can't wait for other people outside to go. <laughs> All right, I get you. Yeah. Uh, I was once told that before uh, you get into that mind state of actually uh, trying to visualize your future, uh, trying to uh, trying to come up with ideas, innovate yeah. uh, to, for, for a better future, yeah. you need to understand history. Uh, why uh, why <laughs> why is it that it is how it is right now. Uh, so is it also something that you're incorporating? Uh, looking into the history of... Uh, yes, just uh, before we visualize 2050, we yeah. have to know how 20... Know how, how, how 1980 <laughs> was, how 1950 was. Uh, yeah, so we are looking at showing what the current situation is. Mm -hmm. We're not going, we're not looking so far back because uh -huh. we have to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you go too far back, uh -huh. then you're pulling progress backwards. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we are, we are looking at the current situation. So what's the current situation right now? Uh -huh. uh, we have computers. That's what, that's the digital that uh -huh. we have uh -huh. right now. What, what will the future digital look like? Uh -huh. So, but we have to show them what is there right now. Uh -huh. So. Um, the equivalent of maybe flying cars, we have mm. drones that can uh -huh. carry people. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So we are looking at building that and uh -huh. showing them how, how, how to go about it. Uh -huh. So we are going from what's there currently uh -huh. and then provoking th them to think, what will it look like in the future? Uh -huh. Yeah. And what can you make it look like in the uh, future? Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right, I yeah. love that. Uh, so uh, this app was launched at a school. Uh, in Kitengela, uh -huh. Ideal School. Ideal School Kitengela. Yeah. Uh, what is the relation between Ideal School Kitengela and uh, uh, the Smart Aid Uh So I approached the director uh -huh. of the school and he was very open to the idea. Uh -huh. uh, he incorporated the staff and got people working on it. Uh -huh. um, that's where we started off from. All right. Yeah. Uh, so the first uh, step you needed at least a school yeah, setting. We needed a school uh -huh. setting because they have the infrastructure. Like uh -huh. I told you, this is meant to be a complement uh -huh. to the schools. Mm -hmm. We are now creating a, a as as a problem solver. I'm now creating the material. Uh -huh. I'm using the material that is already there that uh -huh. is in the schools, uh -huh. and now putting it from the format that they have it in the classes uh -huh. into a digital format. All right, so you yeah. have teachers at the back end of this yes. app, this website. Yes. All right, so teachers uh, no, uh, not being obsolete <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, I like that. Yeah. So uh, we have two curriculums working uh, as we speak. There's yeah. one between uh, nursery and class four. Yeah, we have the, not class four, grade four. Grade we, four now, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'm an old dad, yeah. all right. So, you have the pre-primary one up uh -huh. to grade four, uh -huh. and then it goes on back to the 844 system uh -huh. from class five, going six, seven, mm -hmm. yeah, up to eight. All right, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love this uh, so much. Uh, so you have graphic guys as well. I can see uh, the graphics are beautiful uh, right it's, there. It's a big team working. It's a big team working. <laughs> Estimate? Uh, uh, roughly about 30 people, uh -huh. yeah. All right. On the lower side, it's about 30 people. Because you have uh, people working from outside sending information in. Mm -hmm. So the school is like the hub of information. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, this idea about uh, innovations uh, and our problems being solved by, uh, by tech companies from Silicon Valley. Yeah. Uh, is it something uh, that we, we should stick our minds to? These things can be done in Kenya. We can do them. I, I think we have companies doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they call it uh, Savannah Silicon or mm -hmm. Savannah something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Where we are looking to make Kenya the hub of technology and ICT mm -hmm. in Africa uh -huh. and hopefully to the world because uh -huh. we have the capability. We have very creative people. Mm -hmm. This, uh, the graphics that you just pointed uh -huh. out, uh -huh. is from a Kenyan guy, one uh -huh. of my childhood friends. Uh -huh. um, we have the capability, uh -huh. we have the resources, because uh -huh. we have so many young people mm -hmm. with nothing to do. Uh -huh. and, and records we, also show that we have come up with amazing ideas as, yeah. as Kenyans. We have Mpesa, and uh -huh. uh, people are coming from the UK, because um, I was having a chat with one of my friends back uh, in, when I was in uni, uh -huh. and he was telling me about mobile money, and I told him, this came from Kenya, and he was amazed. I was like, yeah, this was developed by a, few, uh, a young guy in, in Kenya, uh -huh. and it's now being, people are coming to Kenya to learn about it. Uh -huh. See, this means, it's not that we're not able and to do it. this was way, way before smartphones. Way before. Uh -huh. And even now, I was uh -huh. watching a TED Talk, eh? And they were talking about the ability to problem solve, mm -hmm. specifically in Kenya. Uh -huh. And they were showing the, the M farm, they were showing um, the M-Pesa, they were mm -hmm. showing the, the ability for schools to communicate directly with parents mm -hmm. through 
uh, different methods through mm -hmm. USSD and uh, uh -huh. wherever exists. Huh? Uh -huh. And you're saying um, we have the ability, yeah? mm -hmm. as Africa and as Kenya, we have the ability, we have mm -hmm. the talent, we have the manpower. So what, what's left? Mm -hmm. It's just for people to apply themselves. Because uh -huh. nothing good comes easy, yeah? Uh -huh. People need to apply themselves. <laughs> All right. <laughs> need to apply themselves. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, problem solving is, uh, is, is a key word in this age that we are going to be moving into. Yes. All right. So problem solvers uh, have a very huge space uh, to huge, exist. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in, in a few words, what can you describe uh, as, a, as a problem solve? As a problem solve? Uh -huh. Um, a problem solve is you identify because uh -huh. it starts with looking at what's there. Mm -hmm. Identify. Mm -hmm. So, like, um, I would go for how cars were created. Mm -hmm. People wanted to move faster, mm -hmm. and like Ford says, um, if you had asked people what they wanted, uh -huh. they would have said faster horses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> so the identification of the problem, people uh -huh. want to move faster uh -huh. and then look at what exists. Uh -huh. And then you need to have a paradigm shift uh -huh. and say, no, we, we don't, we can't have faster horses. You, uh -huh. ca you can't have horses on steroids. What next? So, so what do you do? Uh -huh. You build a machine that can move faster uh -huh. <laughs> and it doesn't rely on, on, on energy, oh. on, you know, like horse energy uh -huh. Uh -huh. to be able to drag it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Burning <laughs> calories. Yeah. It doesn't rely on calories. Yeah. It doesn't rely on calories. Yeah. It doesn't rely on calories. Okay. Uh -huh. So identify the problem. Yeah. Uh, what next after identify? the problem uh, you, now you look at the current uh, so, uh, solution the so? current solution yeah and then, and then you bring a paradigm you shift. bring a paradigm shift yes even if it seems crazy at the moment yes all right thank you very much <laughs> for that how can people get to access uh, smart aid well so um it's just let them straight into the eyes right there so it's currently mm -hmm. you can register on the link it's online dot smart dot co dot ka online dot smartedu uh -huh. dot co dot ke all right yeah. how old is on, uh, online dot smartedu dot co dot ke uh, so just uh, so people can know uh -huh. we're, we're just over a month old uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. uh we started working on this in just uh just april beginning of april mm -hmm. and we've had a team that's why we've been able to release in such a short period of time mm -hmm. yeah all right yeah. and uh there's a free uh test yeah, so uh -huh. um, we're doing uh, like a trial run uh, uh -huh. where we, we uh, up till the end of this week, uh -huh. people can access it for free. Uh -huh. And then after, after this week, end of this week, uh -huh. then you'll be paying five shillings a day. Five yeah. shillings a day. Five shillings a day. All right, so you're trying to make it cost uh, pocket okay. friendly as well. Pocket friendly as much as possible because um, we, we, we have to make sure we're not leaving anybody because mm -hmm. they say the, the weakest link you're mm -hmm. only as strong as the weakest link mm -hmm. and if we leave people behind uh -huh. because of money issues uh -huh. that becomes a challenge so we're uh -huh. trying to make it as cost effective as possible all right yeah because the vision is a better society the vision the vision is a better 2050 better 2050 uh, uh, where kenya is leading <laughs> where we're leading the world uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. in creativity and innovation uh, yes thank you very much sir, for coming through uh, uh, we appreciate you how can they get uh, to contact guys from uh, smart edu app just in case they want to be uh, involved we have it. a oh mm -hmm. so we have our our helpline mm -hmm. uh it's 0710 275 662 mm -hmm. yeah that's that's our helpline yeah all right thank you very much sir uh, uh, we appreciate you keep doing what you're doing and uh be blessed for sure we really needed this this was timely <laughs> Yeah, it was. All right. <laughs> yes, Thank yes, you very have, much. <laughs> we have come to the end of our first interview. And uh, the Smart Edu app is the future uh, of education. It's a complementary uh, service. That's what is said. It's not replacing schools, but it's helping uh, with the learning process right there. Check online. Dot uh, smartedu.co.ke uh -huh. online.smartedu.co.ke and stay home uh, stay safe make sure your kids are safe and staying home and learning in the process don't just feed their bellies feed their minds as well i uh, will be back with tomorrow why in the morning don't go nowhere all right